I'm Benny Prasad and I hold the world record for being the fastest to travel to every nation. Welcome to my 37th episode of my World Travel Stories and today I will share my experiences on Ascension Island. The isolated volcanic island is about 1,600 kilometers from the coast of Africa and 2,300 kilometers from the coast of Brazil and it is a part of the British Overseas Territory. The island is the location of a Royal Air Force Station with the United States Air Force presence, a European Space Agency Station and the BBC World Service Atlantic Relay Station. Ascension Island hosts one of four ground antennas that assist in the operation of the GPS navigational system. The others are on Kwajalein Island, Diego Garcia and Cape Canaveral. Getting a contact on Ascension Island was a tremendous challenge as the island has no native population and one can only live there if they have a job. I went on Facebook and searched for people connected to Ascension Island and wrote to as many people as possible. Some wrote back but they were skeptical and stopped responding. I kept on being persistent for almost two years. With all the connections and having traveled to 237 nations by now, you would suppose that it would be easy for me to get a contact. I could not get one positive reply from anyone. Barry Finlay said, every mountain top is within reach if you just keep climbing. When challenges keep coming your way, you keep climbing persistently. Finally, on the 24th of August, 2009, Lucy Lee Johnson responded positively and was very gracious to help me in connecting to the right people. There are no commercial flights to Ascension Island and the only flights that are operational are the military flights operated by the Royal Air Force. They have only two flights a week and only 26 civilian seats are permissible subject to availability. In order to book my flight tickets, I needed an entry permit and on the 6th of April 2010, I received the following entry permit. Mary Ann, who was the supervisor of the Volcano Club, sent me the following schedule for my time on Ascension Island. I booked my flight tickets and arrived at the Royal Air Force Bryce Norton Airport in Oxford on the 24th of September 2010. This was my first time at a military airport and I cleared all the security measures. I boarded the Royal Air Force flight number RR8210 and departed at 7.15 a.m. The entire flight was filled with military personnel. As soon as I arrived, Lucy came to receive me at the airport and immediately I was taken to the residence of Mr. Ross Denny, the administrator of Ascension Island for tea and fellowship. In the evening, I did a concert outside the Volcano Club as the kids were not allowed inside the club. I met some amazing people and the warmth and love I received from the people was amazing. Some of them told me that this was the largest gathering after the July 4th celebrations. After the concert, I had to rush to the airport for my flight to Falkland Islands. When I arrived at the airport, the airport personnel told me that since they were on duty, they could not attend the concert. I did a mini concert for them at the airport and shared my testimony. I boarded the Royal Air Force flight number RR8220 at 8.30 p.m. and arrived at Mount Pleasant Airport of Falkland Islands at 5 a.m. the next day. At 10 a.m. I did a concert at the Truff Club in Stanley. I'm reminded of two scriptures from the Holy Bible. Romans 12.12 12 says, Let your hope keep you joyful. Be patient in your troubles and pray at all times. James 1.3 and 4 says, For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow, for when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. Dear friends, the higher you climb, the harder it becomes to breathe. Just like how the mountaineers adjust themselves to get acclimatized to the altitude, we need to keep adjusting ourselves by not giving up and staying focused on our goals. 
having God on your side and you walking in total obedience to him. All I can say is this, in his time, he makes all things beautiful. When I learned that the only people who live on Ascension Island are the ones who have a job there, I realized that the chances of getting to Ascension Island and performing were impossible. Just like what Romans 12.12 says, my hope was alive. For two years, I was patient and yet persisted and kept on praying and finally the victory was mine and I thanked and praised my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. If you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go to youtube.com slash And there's a bell icon there. Please click on it so that every time I post a video, you will be notified. I would love to receive your comments too. Please share these videos to your friends and your family so that they can be blessed too. God bless you all.